name's Sam Dixon. I'm an amateur boxer from Charles Ford, and I've got a record of 8 and 9. So when I was younger, ever since I can remember, I can always remember my family telling me how I just wanted to do everything all the time. I'd never sit down and chill. I've done things like football, rugby. I've done gymnastics for seven years. Um, but my most recent sport before boxing was rugby, which I did for about three or four seasons. I played at Trojans. And um, I developed this thing called Raynaud's disease, which I um, discovered when I was on holiday in Italy, actually. And um, I just jumped in the pool and swam around for like 30 seconds. I got out and my fingers and all my hands were white and just numb. I can just remember being freaked out and like, not knowing what's going on. But um, I went to the doctors, but I checked out and they said it was Raynaud's disease, which is um, a condition where your veins in your like, hands and stuff are like, really like, sensitive to temperature and they can just squeeze up and tighten. Um, just stop circulation coming around your body, so I had to give up rugby. All the time we'd have a boiling like boiling kettle of water ready like on the sideline. I'd wait for it to cool down a little bit and then whenever my hands would just go freezing cold, I'd just run off the pitch, put them in there for like 10 seconds, just shake them around for a bit, wait for them to get a bit of heat back in and then just be straight back on the pitch. started school I was just mischievous and like I used to get on the teacher's nerves all the time and I like the first time I ever got into trouble was a fight that I got into in like year one or year two um, where I like injured this boy and I got suspended like when I was like seven years old it was something stupid and then ever since then I've just like got into little fights throughout primary school and stuff like that and um, I suffered with like anger management and stuff like that when I was younger um, and yeah, it was kind of like when I was younger, I didn't, I was immature and I didn't really think about consequences of like actions and stuff like that. Um, but ever since I started going boxing, I've, I've never got into like a street fight outside. All confrontations, I just walk away from and stuff like that. So it kind of teaches you respect as well as like being the bigger man. Like you just walk away from a situation. Um, like my granddad used to like do boxing and stuff like that. He used to fight all the time. He taught my dad, dad. My dad taught me. Yeah. So my dad was a. Um a very keen boxer, but obviously back in the sort of 50s when my dad was boxing, or late 40s, early 50s, it, was, it wasn't so well disciplined. So dad was a, a merchant seaman, so they boxed and he played rugby. So rugby and boxing were his two things, very similar to what Sam has done as well. When I started boxing, that's how my coach saw something in me, because he just saw I had natural ability, I had the natural like stance and stuff. I was like moving, I could move my hands and like, he just, I said I had natural belief from the day I started really. Yeah, my mum on the other hand, she was sceptical at the start. She didn't really want me doing it. I think Sam's mum was a little bit nervous about him boxing. She's just a worried mother, like every other mother really. I think she just worried about me getting hurt and just thought it was like an aggressive sport. She just thought that it was just two men like beating each other up really and didn't realise there's like technique and stuff like that but the more I pursued it and the more I showed her like I'm capable of doing it and like I put the work and the hours into it the more she's come to like accept it and now she's like really enjoying it she had like my aunties come down and watch me fight on my last fight so I think she does really support me now compared to like what she did at the start since she's come to watch him um, I think that's changed. If my dad was alive today, and um, it would be fantastic for him to, to watch Sandbox as well, he'd be really proud of him. I think he's probably from my, my, my dad's side of the family, with the rugby and the boxing. So it's great, yeah, really proud of him. I doing white collar boxing just over two years ago and I had my first fight at Jim and Shirley 
uh, where I won that. And the opponent I faced was 23 years old, and I just turned up on the day, and they just said, you're going with this guy over here. Two hours later, I jumped in the ring and just beat him up, really, and that's what happened. Yeah, so it's carried on since there, really. I just had my last fight um, just over a month ago, um, which took place in Eastley. It was actually my home show, so it was good to end on like, my what colour, um, like boxing career, you could say, that on that note, like in front of all my family and friends. And um, I got the win as well in the first round, which is good. So, but um, now I'm going to start going into the ABAs, which is the Amateur Boxing Association, um, which is where all the all the like good boxers and stuff go to. It's where um, it's kind of the road to start to get to like nationals and stuff like that. And you can go on to represent GB and go to the Olympics and stuff down that route. As soon as I came home from school, I just wouldn't do any of my homework. I'd be straight in the gym or I'd be going on runs and stuff. I just like. Had, like, it was just a release for me really, all the work was building up that I hadn't done. Teachers getting on my back and stuff about it, but it just wasn't happening. Well, what I've been doing like white collar boxing, is not really a ranking. Like, I won a few titles, I won a southern um, south area title and a northern area title and a Southeast regional title as well. Like I'm, I'm up there at the moment with the white collar boxers at my age and like my way around the country. But until I get into the ABAs, then that's when I'll get my real, I'm not testing really, and that's where I'll be like properly ranked and stuff like that and given opportunities. So this is the first title that I won back in um, August 2017. Um, this was in Dover, um, and that was for the Southeast England um, area title from the UKBC promotional uh, company. And I fought this boy called Josh Kent and um, he was a homeboy there. It went all the way, um, it was three rounds and I won by unanimous decision. So yeah, I got back the win and then we came back all on a mini bus, um, came home, like, all my family and my friends came to watch, so yeah, it was a good atmosphere on the way home. And this was my second title that I won. Um, I won this back in February 2018. I fought a 26 year old lad from Shrewsbury uh, for this. He was a bit heavier than me, I had to like, put on weight here to cut weight, to, um, so we both Bit, um, for the weight category for the super bantam weight and then this one I won just over a month ago um, and I fought a lad from the East Midlands yeah he was 29 in the end I found out so that was a vacant title that we were both fighting for and that only lasted a minute and 15 seconds and I knocked him down three times and the ref just called it off there.